Hello and welcome to what is going to be for me some brand new Dominion content. Not a new concept. I am going to be playing some ladder games in this video. The purpose uh, in this particular case is to prepare for the Shuffle It Championship, which is coming up during the league break. I do have two, well, one and uh, a half more league matches to go. Um, we've got both of those scheduled for this weekend, um, but until then I don't have anything else going on Dominion-wise, and I thought it would be a good time to start playing some more ladder in order to improve my spot for the championship. Now currently there's way too much time left for signups for me to have any idea of where I need to sit in terms of like getting a buy or any of that stuff. And I'm not, like, expecting this to, like, actually matter that much. It's more about, like, keeping my skills up and such than it is, like, that I'm expecting to, like, rise way up the ladder and then, you know, do um, better in the tournament as a consequence of that. But, you know, whatever. Um, it's an opportunity to play some Dominion games and to commentate that, um, which seems like a good idea to me. So... Right now, as you can see, I've got, I'm, I'm a little under level 59. The overview says 59, but I'm actually 58.64. Um, and my microphone volume is too high. Let's lower that a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, microphone keeps bouncing around. It's very annoying. Anyway, um, 1.69 mu and 0.26 fee. The fee is the easiest thing to lower. Like if I, if I just like, stay at the same approximate skill level but lower my fee then my rating goes up um but i have had higher muse and higher levels in the past so hopefully i can do that but regardless of whether i actually succeed in improving you know anything or not hopefully these will be interesting games so jumping right into the first one and what do we have here we've got which we've got tournament we don't really have trashing, and by don't really, I mean we definitely do not, so that is alarming. Um, we are going to want to get a witch quickly, which probably means we want to go tournament silver. Well, I mean, if we can get followers, I guess that's even better, but realistically speaking, we're going to get witch before we can get to followers, so we probably do want to get the witch regardless. Um, there's, there are villages in the form of throne room, but that's going to be pretty unreliable with how junky the decks are going to be, I imagine. Um, tournament should be good to go for a while. Oh, oh. Okay, that is weird to me. Like, imps are good, but, like, man, I would definitely open with a witch there. Um, I'm going to grab another tournament here, I think. Like, it's just going to be a while before there's any realistic chance of tournament getting blocked. So I think it's worth the fact that at some point in the game we may end up with two, or, you know, two relatively dead cards in our deck. Um, hopefully, okay, good. We get our silver. We get the, the, the witch. That's good. And we hit six. That's got to be another witch. And this witch doesn't miss the shuffle, which is great. It might actually be time for a throne room, because if we can play... If it enables us to play both of our witches, that would be really nice. And I do believe I have two coins coming down here, because I drew an estate last turn, yeah. In fact, I have three. Though I don't think it makes sense to get a third witch. That, that can't be correct. So I'm going to get that throne room. Hmm, yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. My opponent has gained a lot of imps, I will say. Okay, so we've got four again. I think I'm going to take another throne room. Maybe this is a little too greedy, but... Might as well throw in the tournament here. Reason not to. Opponent has a second witch, but I am up on the cursing. I am one coin short of province. And that is a sad fact. Okay. Uh oh wait. No. Oh, they haven't given any curses. 
That's what's going on. Okay. Um, I do have two throne rooms now. I'm tempted to get a third witch. I am tempted. I mean, I guess I could use some plus buy, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to have worse turns coming up where I can grab a market square. It's not really that important. Um, yeah, let's get another witch. Yes, okay. That's what I'm talking about. There's a decent chance that we hit... Well, we do have two estates in hand. I was going to say that we hit eight here, but with the two estates in our starting hand, maybe not so much. Huh. Nothing to play with the imp? That is surprising. Like you got two witches and a tormentor in there that you could have played. I mean, presumably they didn't have those cards in their hand, but I just am just surprised that they did not have any of those things. Okay, well we did get about two curses and we hit six. Fourth witch seems I mean it is the draw unless we're gonna invest in Tormentor. Oh, okay. Well, that is one win in the bank. Oh, I guess another thing I will mention, I have, when I play ladder, I, I don't rematch, and I probably won't here either, if for no other reason than I probably won't even think to. Um, so yeah, numbers go up a little bit. I, I'm not, it's not really worth looking at after every game, but I figure maybe whoever's watching will be interested in seeing that. That was a fast one. Okay, so now we've got Vampire and Sacrifice and Puka for Trash, and we've got Wharf, Port, Triumph. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Ooh, Curse Gold, too. Dang. Okay. Um, yeah, opening Vampire is certainly reasonable. It's an argument for just opening Wharf instead, though. I hmm. Hmm. We need a lot of. We can kind of get some Triumph stuff going with Bandit Camps too. That's interesting. Um. Well, either way, we're gonna play the Curse Gold. That much seems clear. And then we're gonna have four. We. If we take Vampire, Sacrifice seems safe enough. If we take Wharf, we do want Vampire. I think I go, yeah, go for that. The one thing, well, I guess there's the Bandit Camp Bazaar gives you, yeah, there's so many things to gain with Vampire. I was going to say, the one thing we're kind of lacking is, like, Payload, but... That's not really true. Bandit Camp can generate the payload and like feed that into Triumph. There's also Replace to increase gains as well as like Warp buys. And then like if we want to buy like Coppers or whatever, we can thin them with Bat. So I mean, there's like, there's some pretty crazy potential shenanigans. I don't know if the board is going to be like, if the game is going to last long enough for that to matter but i guess we'll see all right do i want to take a moat here or do i want to sacrifice a copper envy doesn't do anything um moat does block vampire for what that's worth which my opponent currently does not have in their deck it will eventually um and there are plenty of villages i think i will take a moat And oh, trash the cursed gold. That's good. <laughs> Here, I think I'm actually going to take another vampire because there's so many things for it to gain. <laughs> I guess we're taking another moat, and we're going to need to add some villages here, obviously. might sacrifice this moat. Like, it's either that or, like, don't play. Yeah, I think I'm going to sacrifice the moat. It's, like, not important for me to keep it around. 
I wouldn't want to find my bat. And my vampire. Let's go. All right. Um, are we playing the curse gold? We're probably playing the curse gold, huh? So we want to take... We probably want to take Wharf Bazaar here. I think that's... Yeah. Got to be the play. So let's grab a Wharf. Vampire. Take Bazaar. That trash a curse. Diluted is a nice hit. That shouldn't do anything. Oh, trash is my sacrifice. Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. All right, I don't think we play Curse Gold here. I don't think there's any reason to. Um... I think I just want another wharf. Like, we could use more villages, but... We just did just lose the sacrifice, so... Oh, right, I do still have a moat. Eh. Right, there's no reason not to always reveal, and we've got that on. It's good to know. To play the moat, I probably do because I might draw bat. Okay, that's not bad. Well, it's kind of bad. I have two wars down there, no village. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, let's grab. Might be time to take ports to go port moat. Um, now we're going to have we have a lot of wharves missing the shuffle so I think I'm actually going to take another wharf now unless we don't play this wharf which I guess is an option but could that possibly be correct I don't think so all right, more ports here, and another wharf. All right, now we should be cooking again. Um, two wharves into play is definitely fine. Three wharves into play is probably also fine, considering I can buy more. Miles are kind of getting low here. Oh, I can get two more wharves. I actually didn't realize I could do that. I was I miscounted my money. How many cards have I gained this turn? Just the three. Okay, I don't want to triumph yet, I don't think. Why is my opponent... Oh, sacrifice. So, wharves are empty, curses are at four, moats are not that low. I think it's fine. We'll have... Um, vampire next turn, so our triumph this turn will be better. We might want to... Look into replace at this point. We could certainly use a bandit camp. More gains. We've, we still haven't trashed like that much copper, so we still ha and we have the cursed gold, so we still got money, but um, I guess we're not going to be trashing any this turn. Misery, okay, that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, it does appear 
that I overinvested in draw and should have gotten like a replace. We could buy ports ourselves to power up the Triumph. Do we have... We are going to have eight buys and two gains. We might be able to end the game. We empty curses. The problem is the vampire... Well, hmm. So buy... Okay, we play this. We buy curse, 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 port, port. That's five buys. We buy estate. Or maybe we want to gain one port so that we can double triumph. How many points is that going to be? So we gain four curses and four ports is eight. We triumph. That'll be nine points. Minus three is six points. We're at four. That's, yeah, that's, if we double triumph, we gain two ports with the vampire. And we are at one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we get like seven, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven points is 13, 14, 15 points. That's still not enough. Yeah, it, if we go single triumph and we buy some coppers, so we have seven, and we don't have, yeah, we have three curses, so that's five buys. And then we buy two coppers, that's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and six is 17 minus three. I think that works. We give, we get vampire for duchies. Hopefully I didn't miscount. I didn't miscount. Okay, yeah, I should have taken a replace for sure. That would have like made the win way more secure. <laughs> I could have replaced like one of those ports um, into a duchy, given out one of the curses, then I wouldn't have had to buy it. Anyway, um, but it worked out in the end. Um, am I going to keep checking this in between every game? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, help B. That's a high rating for somebody I've never s seen or heard of before. Uh, the only village here is acting troop. It's awkward. There is like sheepdog, groom sheepdog. Um, so you can get some stuff going with that. Then with Sanctuary, I th okay. I guess I took too long. At I don't know, to each their own, I guess. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking your time to figure out what you want to do at the beginning of a game, but some people do. Um, I was about to click on Groom. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't going to take that much longer, but okay. Um, Black Market... Rebuild could definitely outpace Black Market here. There's no trashing, but I don't want to play Rebuild, so we're going to play Black Market. And Potion is a reasonable card on this board. I don't know that we want to open with it given Black Market, though. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we get it... We go Black Market Silver... And then we get the potion. Okay, well, here I think I'm just going to take... I mean, I could end up not taking the potion, but I guess that's fine. Like, archive is also draw. I'm going to take an archive is the point. I 
Okay, so we could choose to get a potion here instead of another archive. Or if we don't get something from the black market. Or we could... Well, Ambassador... <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Might as well do that. We don't want a two cost anyway. Yeah, that is probably going to be game winning. I mean, we'll see, but Ambassador... Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. Oh, and they can't... Oh, interesting. Oh, I guess that's a way to counter Ambassador. You know, maybe I should have taken Copper. I don't think I want to gamble here. It's my next hand it seems like it's... Oh. Oh, right. No, I only have one Archive. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have taken... Left the Ambassador on and tried to pair it with Double Estate. Well, whatever. King's Court? Yes, please. <laughs> what the heck? Right, this is going to be another archive. I mean, there is an argument here that what we want to do is... Oh, we didn't see our... Oh, no, we couldn't have seen our archive. Yeah, this was, I guess this was inevitable. That's fine. Well, um, there's an argument here that I should be not king's courting estates to my opponent, but then again, I think I will. Oh, you know what I should have done is return that copper. That was stupid. That was stupid. I'm definitely playing this like ladder. Why would you name province? Why wouldn't you name duchy? Did you already have a province? No, you didn't. I don't understand. You only have one rebuild, too. That's weird. All right, we definitely need a village. So let's get a minstrel. Mm, I do not want to King's Court the archive. I guess we're going to end up picking up. I think we pick up Black Market here, and we King's Court that, and then we... Uh, do I want a Recruiter? I don't, I don't actually know that I do. Plus buy, I don't really need plus buy. It wouldn't hurt. We're gonna get more coins. All right, I'll take a market square. Bridge. I do want bridge, I think. Oh, black market. If I can king's court my bridge, that'll be pretty good. Okay. <laughs> um, well, we can get some more archives. We can... we can do a lot of things. I'm not sure. I mean, I think I want another... I want, like, some minstrels. Let's get one, two archives, two minstrels, and another black market. No idea if I'm playing this correctly or not. Market is just doing crazy things as it will. I think what I want is to archive this minstrel because I'm not going to need it. Probably. Well, yeah, I think so. And 
and I will take I'll take the black market because next turn we'll have something to pair with the king's court. Grand market. I can't buy that. Um, Artificer? Artificer is reasonable. Oh, would love to have Mountebank. <laughs> Dang it. All right, well, I guess I'll buy a fishing village. I do not want to, like, ever King's Court Archive if I can help it. I guess I'll King's Court um, Minstrel. And that probably means I want to play Archive first, because it's gonna. I don't want the Archive to only be setting aside actions. Okay, never mind then. Double never mind, because I'm probably going to King's Court the bridge. <laughs> Um, that doesn't matter. Okay. We do probably need to start thinking about greening here. Let's grab... Actually, wait. It could have mattered if I'd gambled. Hmm. I didn't think about that. I should have thought about that. Well, I'm going to grab... Grab the last minstrel. I'm thinking about, like... Hmm. Should I take a province? I really wish I had thought an artificer in a black market. I don't know which order I put them back in. It would have been good to gamble the black market. I think I Where's my money coming from? I mean, I guess black market, bridge. We could take one more black market, I guess. Maybe that's what I want to do, is take like a couple more archives in black market. And maybe start greening this turn. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't really know how to play this board. Got back to the other rebuild? That seems so unlikely. All right, I don't, but I actually need a fishing village. So I'm gonna take the black market. Uh, I might need this minstrel. Okay, I surely won't need that minstrel. Oh, crap. Um, should we just King's Court Black Market? Also, King's Court Artificer, but I don't know if I want to gain anything with it, so let's, let's do... It doesn't matter whether I King's Court Black Market or Black Market and then King's Court Black Market. Whatever. Um, Guardian, no, I don't need that. Would not mind having a Rabble, but I don't think I really need it either. Sea Hag, I will actually think, I think I actually will take that. Well, okay, Coven, sure? I don't want to handle it. 
Uh, lurker. Oh. How many? What did all did I discard after I shuffled? It's copper, silver. So I have. I have copper, silver, coven. Copper, silver, coven, and sea hag on top of my deck. So I could probably play them. There we go. You have a reaction? I don't know what reaction you would have. Okay, well we do have a, a Wandering Minstrel in the hole here, so... That's good. Fishing Village... I guess I need to pull out my archive, probably. Unfortunately. Let's let's get the ambassador. At first, I guess. Give me that. Um Should I King's Court the Minstrel so I can draw? I guess so. Um, I want to draw the Sea Hag and not the Minstrels at this point. Alright, let's play some Black Markets. Actually, let's play Coven first. Unplay Black Market. Fortune. That's not ridiculous. Um, is this going to be a mistake? No, I guess it's fine. Totally fine. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Wanted to ambassador that copper. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Bueller? No? We're not... Fine! I still don't know what... they can possibly be reacting with. Did they pull a reaction on the black market? I guess that's possible. I don't see one. Yeah. Hmm. Ugh. What is going on? What are we waiting for? Maybe I don't think they've even gained anything from the black market. Yeah, they haven't. What is happening?
I must be overlooking something. Well, I'm sure I am not playing this correctly. I haven't played my ambassador nearly enough. The archive makes it sort of weird. I didn't mean to play it this turn, but. Make resign incoming. Maybe that's why I didn't get my undo. They disappeared. Didn't disconnect. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit here any longer than that, so... I guess that's a win. I have no idea whether I was actually going to win the game. I mean, I think I was because, like, they were doing the rebuild thing, but they hadn't, they were not very quickly lowering the province pile. Um, and I think at some point, like, I was going to be able to King's Court a bridge and play Fortune and buy, like, a whole bunch of provinces. I don't know how long it was going to take. Alrighty. New one. Uh, the trashing is Exorcist and Count, and got Scrying Pool for draw. We don't, we don't really have villages. We also don't really need villages. We've got Orchard, so we could we could go with Count here. Huh. If I were going to do that, I'd rather have a 2-5 so I could go Fisherman count, but... I'm not... I'm not entirely sure this is... what I want to be doing using count. Although, I mean, what else am I going to use my terminal space for, I guess? Merchant ship? Well, Herbalist, I guess, for plus buy. Hmm. We can always exercise the count later if we want to, I suppose. Ghost. It's probably a good idea to get the count, since we can. And I guess I will counter Lurker here. We've got the two anyway, and Lurker to gain Scrying Pools is, you know, a thing, so... Maybe we can skip Potion that way? Probably not, but if our deck remains thin enough, at, like, because of the count, then maybe. And getting a supplies would also be nice, because... Could increase hand size before playing count. I don't know if that makes more sense or not. I suspect it doesn't. The odds that things line up in a way where that's helpful aren't that high, and 
Getting a second lurker early seems like a distinct possibility. Oh, okay. I do think I would have opened Fisherman count in my opponent's position, but whatever. It's a little unfortunate we only see one estate. Should still be guaranteed to hit two next turn, so that's good. Three even. I think I will take a second Lurker. For, because of Orchard, I guess we're going to want a third Lurker. I don't know that I want it right now, but... My opponent's count missed? That's good. Here I'm taking Fisherman for sure. Maybe we don't play with Herbalist. You know, we just use Lurker for gains in single province, and Count can gain duchies. Ooh, no estates trashed. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Well, and we only get one estate trashed after our two trashes, so that's not great either. <laughs> Four lurkers. Uh... Okay, well, we do get to gain something with lurker, so that's good. It's not... Oh, man, I really would have liked to draw the count here. It's not entirely obvious that I should be gaining Scrying Pool here. I guess I probably should. Do we want to take... Like, the third Lurker doesn't really do anything. It's the fourth Lurker that... ...does. But, so it's either that or supplies. Hmm. I think it's supplies right now. Well, I might regret that if I draw exactly scrying pool here. We'll see. We could... Well, we have another copper we want to trash. Yeah, I mean, a uh, state, rather, that we want to trash. Yeah, I guess I do want to draw. Damn it. All right, here we take... Scrying pool before we shuffle. And yeah, we had this one friggin' estate. Um, oh well. So, what are we buying now? We are. I mean, we could discard two and trash the estate, but I don't think that's going to make sense. Top decking, scrying pool, taking 
coins, playing supplies. We want another lurker. We want an, an, two more fishermen. We might want a patron so that we can. Well, maybe we take exorcist actually. Exercise the estate into a wisp. Exercise. Well, no, we probably want to keep the count, huh? Hmm. We can exercise stuff and gain it back with Lurker, but not in the same turn. I don't know how to play this. I do not know. How to play this. Uh, like the lurker can gain the the lurkers can gain the the orchard stuff, that's fine. But like do we want to be angling to hit province as quickly as possible? Or I think that would suggest taking Patron um We don't need the money if we're not doing that. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and grab a patron. We do need more lurkers, probably. Maybe I should have taken an herbalist? I don't know. If I play patron and don't play count this turn, and I take herbalist... Or I could take herbalist with my lurkers, I guess. Maybe that's what I should do. Hmm. Like, if we have enough actions in our deck, we're not really going to need more than however many scrying pools. Um, you have, yeah, I'm going to actually top deck that, I guess. Like, it doesn't really matter. Um, one herbalist, I think, is what I want. Okay, so then we play Patron. We play Herbalist. We play Supplies, and we can buy Fisherman Lurker. Do not want to top deck a treasure. <laughs> Thank you. Probably need to pick up a scrying pool this turn. I mean, I guess if we keep not playing our horse, then, you know, it works out reasonably well, but we just stack horses up in our deck, but. Yeah, so we're going to end up with like three scrying pools, but I don't think it... Well, I guess it's going to matter later. Yeah, I might have made a mistake here.
I needed one more Lurker earlier so that I could take two Scrying Cools this turn. Like, I'd be alright with four, but three is probably insufficient. Okay. So let's um grab that. I don't actually need to draw it. I guess we want to play the fisherman anyway. Um I guess we just want to play Patron Herbalist and keep not playing Count for the moment. It's our third horse, so that's nice. Take another Fisherman. Take another Lurker, I guess. You also take another Patron. Or another Supplies. The Lurker can gain more stuff, but it doesn't actually help us in any way. Like, gaining stuff faster, like unless we're adding a third Herbalist or a third Count. So I think I'm actually going to take... Patron. Maybe we never add more supplies. We just try not to play our horses. <laughs> I don't know. We'll probably do get more supplies. It's already not looking great for not playing horses, I guess. <laughs> Actually helping me by discarding that lurker. Oh, I forgot that you could like reveal patron. That's exciting, I guess. That's not why I have coffers, is it? I guess it's why I have coffers. I didn't even notice. If we can't play two herbalists, unless you start storing up coffers. So I'm not sure if that's just to get the orchard points. I guess it probably is. We should watch piles. Scrying pools are empty. Lurkers are very low. We have three lurkers. Our opponent has four. So, like, max pile lowering is like five for us and six for our opponent, I think, because we have. Um, Damn. Damn. Okay. Well, it's fine. Um, I think we don't really care that much, probably. Uh, do we want to gain something with the Lurkers? Take our third patron, and then we could buy Province. I just spent the one horse, so I'm going to get the points for that back. That's good. 
think I'm going to not play the count so that I can, well, first of all, not have to discard or top deck supplies or gain copper, and second of all, so that I can keep a villager. And depending on what my opponent does here, I might have an opportunity to end the game. Yeah, like if they gain, I guess we each have three patrons, so there's no reason for them to gain another patron. There is a reason for them to gain another fisherman. That doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna have, there's no way I'm gonna have seven Games, I guess. I'm still gonna be capped at five, or yeah, five because I didn't, or seven pile lowerings, whatever. Oh, okay. I mean, surely they're not going to take another patron, though. I might just double province. That would be fair enough. Okay. Um, they have four lurkers, so they can empty piles. But not while gaining anything except a duchy. Not even that, actually, because they have no villagers. So... What is the line here? And if I take two provinces, they, so they take two provinces, then I take a province, I win. But I, I don't know if X going to hold up to that. Taking a fisherman should be completely safe. It's another coin I can add to my deck. Seven coins and six coins, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I can double province. My opponent can't triple because they do not have a villager. Okay. So Yeah, I mean I think This is without playing the count. I think we keep Like we're not going to hit triple this turn, right? 7 6 is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, if we took the herbalist. So, yeah. We could take a duchy, I guess, but I think it makes more sense. Not to do that. So we go. Patron, patron, patron. Herbalist. I mean, for what it's worth, top decking two horses would be pretty good. Sort of. Um. 
Maybe I should do that. Maybe keeping the villager isn't worth it. But keep some coffers. The top deck one horse, sorry. I mean, I might end up spending out my horse. I have four horses, so I can spend two of them without losing the points, assuming, I, well, I have the supplies in hand, so. But of course, if they double province, and then I province, I don't know that I need those points. Maybe I do. There's no way you don't have a scrying pool, right? You have seven of them. Madness. Well, what do you do here? Stampede? Or just buy duchy? You can't buy province. Like, this, seems, this seems unjust. I shouldn't be getting to... To do this. <laughs> you still have a copper? Well, top deck it. Okay, we're gonna be playing some horses. Okay, so if we Double province. We still have two horses. That's great. We can take another fisherman. Might as well do that. Three coffers is enough that we stand a reasonable chance of hitting province, even if we just dud. I cannot believe I'm winning this game, actually. Like, I thought I just totally screwed it up by taking too many scrying pools. My opponent did add one extra patron that they didn't need as a stop card, so that was a mistake on their part. They also have the fourth lurker, but they have seven scrying pools. <coughs> Discarded my lurker, thank you. Discarded my count. I would have actually, the count would have potentially been helpful. Especially since I have four coffers now, and that would have actually been game. How did my opponent gain four points mid turn? What did they do with their lurkers? Oh, they hadn't gotten a third fisherman yet? Wow, okay. Wait, didn't they? Oh, they used their villager last turn. No, wait, no, that's me. Uh, oh, they used it to play count. Okay. Hmm. That might have been a mistake. But I don't know. All that money. Nothing to spend it on. What did I end up top decking? State. Well, that's not great, obviously. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm not gonna like jerk about it. Somehow, well, we've already won this game. I. Yeah, I got it. I got to say that. Okay. Um. All right. Well, it's been an hour. I think I'm gonna call it there. Somehow, I won all of those games. Of course, there was a resign, like an early resign, and a player that disappeared. <laughs> So, you know, your mileage may vary on the value of, of that. But um, I won the games that I actually played as well, so that was nice. I do not think I should have won that one. I, like, I think, like I said, I think four scrying pools on that board with the supplies as kind of insurance that you're, like, building up the horses um, probably is fine. An earlier patron to store up villagers, would that be, like, would it be possible to, yeah, I don't know. Um... Basically, I think that, like, yeah, four scrying pools is probably fine. Three, I, I don't think is good enough. And I think I just got away. Like, there, there's no way my opponent should have done it. I mean, granted, if they hadn't done it, I think I still would have won. Because as it turns out, like, I didn't dud. I thought I would. I really thought I would dud at least once. And I didn't somehow. Um, and that, I mean, I did minimize the number of stop cards that I had, like, with in terms of um, like, you know, exactly three lurkers, exactly three patrons, you know, just the one herbalist, etc. But I still think that was enough that I should have been expected to. I mean, I did have the horses stored up, you know, and that helps. But anyway, I, I just think that's, um, that was really lucky. The other games, I don't know. I don't think I played those fine. Um... So yeah, now I went up about a full point of level. It was like 58.6, now it's like 59.6. Went like from 1.69-ish, 1 1.8. So, you know, pretty good. Fee didn't go down that much. Um, but anyway, I will probably do some more of this in the coming weeks leading up to the championship. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do... If I'm going to record every ladder match I play, but I will probably do some more ladder match recording. So if you enjoyed it, then there will be more where that came from. So thanks for watching and until next time.